Percy and the signal. Percy is a little green tank engine who works in the yard at the big station. He is a funny little engine and loves playing jokes. These jokes sometimes get him into trouble. Peep, peep, he whistled one morning. Hurry up, Gordon. The train's ready. Gordon thought he was late and came puffing out. Ha, 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 laughed Percy and showed him a train of dirty coal trucks. Gordon didn't go back to the shed. He stayed on a siding thinking how to pay Percy out. Stay in the shed today, squeaked Percy to James. The fat controller will come and see you. James was a conceited engine. Ah, he thought. The fat controller knows I'm a fine engine, ready for anything. He wants me to pull a special train. So James stayed where he was. And nothing his driver and fireman could do would make him move. But the fat controller never came. And the other engines grumbled dreadfully. They had to do James's work as well as their own. At last, an inspector came. Show a wheel, James, he said crossly. You can't stay here all day. The fat controller told me to stay here, answered James sulkily. He sent a message this morning. He did not, retorted the inspector. How could he? He's away for a week. Oh, said James. Oh. He came quickly out of the shed. Where's Percy? Percy had wisely disappeared. When the fat controller came back, he did see James. And Percy, too. Both engines wished he hadn't. James and Gordon wanted to pay Percy out. But Percy kept out of their way. One morning, however, he was so excited that he forgot to be careful. I say, you engines, he bubbled. I have to take some trucks to Thomas's junction. The fat controller chose me specially. He must know I'm a really useful engine. More likely he wants you out of the way, grunted James. But Gordon gave James a wink. Ah, ah, yes, said James. Just so. You were saying, Gordon? James and I were just speaking about signals at the junction. We can't be too careful about signals. But then I needn't say that to a really useful engine like you, Percy. Percy felt flattered. Oh, of course not, he said. We had spoken of backing signals, put in James. They need extra special care, you know. Would you like me to explain? No, oh, thank you, James, said Percy airily. I know all about signals. And he bustled off importantly. James and Gordon solemnly exchanged winks. Percy was a little worried as he set out. I wonder what backing signals are, he thought. Never mind, I'll manage. I know all about signals. He puffed crossly to his trucks and felt better. He saw a signal just outside the station. Bother, he said. It's a danger. Oh, 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 screamed the trucks as they bumped into each other. Presently, the signal moved to show line clear. Its arm moved up instead of down. Percy had never seen that sort of signal before. He was surprised. Down means go, he thought, and up means stop. So upper still must mean go back. I know. It's one of those backing signals. How clever of me to find that out. Come on, Percy, said his driver. Off we go. But Percy wouldn't go forward. And his driver had to let him back in order to start at all. I am clever, thought Percy. Even my driver doesn't know about backing the signals. And he started so suddenly, the truck screamed again. Whoa, Percy, called his driver. Stop! You're going the wrong way. But it's a backing signal, Percy protested, and told him about Gordon and James. The driver laughed and explained about signals that point up. Oh dear, said Percy. Let's start quickly before they come and see us. But he was too late. 
Gordon was swept by with the express and saw everything. The big engines talked about signals that night. They thought the subject was funny. They laughed a lot. Personally, they thought they were being very silly.